That's what it's about. It's about believing. The report that the Bible writers and many others have given about Jesus. That he is the Lamb of God. He is the one that that was assigned by God, designated by God to be the sin barrel of the world. To forgive you. To change your state from that of a sinner to a saint. Jesus came to deliver you from the gates of hell to take you out of Satan's kingdom and place you in his own kingdom. That's why he came. To make you a part of God's program. To live his life in you. To give you the strength and the power to overcome the wickedness, the bad habits, the weakness, and the failure of the flesh. Take advantage of it. It's free. It cost him his life. It cost him his life. But he went through all of that because he loved you. You may come by letter by Christian experience. As a candidate for baptism. The Lord bless you real good. And the Lord keep you. Glory, hallelujah. Lord bless you real good and the Lord keep you. As we join our hands together. Father, we thank you for such great love that has been manifested through the giving of your Son, the submissiveness of our Lord as he submitted himself to the torture of men to bear our sins, to carry our judgment to suffer our death that we might enter into a right relationship with you. Thank you. Forgive us for not treating others as you treat us. Forgive us for being narrow-minded and selfish. For, forgive us, dear God, for being disobedient to your commandment to love one another and especially to love them as we love ourselves to do unto others as we work as they do unto us so we ask forgiveness because we're here at the table that represents your love that represents your principles that represent the price of our salvation. We don't take this lightly. It's a great price. Great suffering our Savior went through to deliver us from the power of sin and the power of Satan. Help us, dear God, to apply your graces to our lives that we might display perfect union between you and us. That perfect union is based on Christ being our goal, our surety, being our representative. Bless each and every one who would partake in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
The Lord bless you real good, and the Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And may you hear his word, his voice throughout this week, directing your path and assuring you of his love for him. 
Go out and do the same for somebody else. Somebody need encouragement. Don't let, don't let the night come without encouraging somebody today. Every day make it a habit of doing something or saying something good to somebody. All right? God bless you and I'll keep you so grateful for all of you and my dear friend that, uh, yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Thank you. My yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My friend, Brother Keith. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> glory, glory, hallelujah. It's so good to have you here. And uh, Reverend Burl, Graylin Burl, is, uh, his, his anniversary is today at 3 o'clock. We thank you for reminding us of that. And uh, we just thank you for your presence, as well as the, the uh, rest of you, all of you. We are grateful for your presence. And we want you to know that your presence here has added another dimension to our service. Now, I asked you some time ago, and I still continue to ask you, that you would be in prayer, that the Lord would give us direction in the way that we should go in all things, but especially right now in the area of what our next project is going to be. I have... Uh, something in mind, and uh, I, I, uh, well, I'm still open to what the Lord is, uh, may say, but uh, I do ask that uh, you would just pray and ask God to guide and direct us so that uh, we would do uh, that which will bring honor and glory to his name and good to our fellow man. So I'm just grateful for you. Continue to uh, participate in the ministry of, uh, of, of God. Um, and uh, especially if you're part of this fellowship, uh, participate, play your part, do. Which in, and your part is not just money. Your part is prayer. Your part, part is meditation and encouragement. Play that. You know, the, uh, the gold and the silver belongs to him. You're going to take care of that. But you pray and, and pray that hearts and your heart and others be open to the inspiration of God and so that we can, we can live uh, in unity. And if I, and I, I don't have time for games. I don't play games with God business. This God business. And I don't know when I'm going to be called on home. Am I helping somebody? Amen. You don't know. We don't have time for games. Just pray that God will guide. And every moment of our life, we in some way or another reflect the Christ that lives in us. Okay? God bless you. God keep you. Let us uh, stand and join our hands together. Again, uh, Sister Nikita Allen is asking that the parents, guardians, the young folk meet her in the uh, library. And uh, let's get our children back uh, in, in, uh, in, 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 in music ministry, as well as uh, Bible class and Sunday school, children, church. Yeah. So we want to do all of that. Amen. We, we, we need that. Our children need it. Yeah. Am I helping somebody? Yeah, yeah. Y'all heard about all the shooting that's been going on, huh? Okay, we need some divine protection. Thank you, Father. Amen.